This video podcast is brought to you by McCarter Online. Well, uh, you know, Lanford and I uh, began working together uh, at the Cafe Chino, actually. Um, he had, uh, the Cafe Chino was a little, tiny little theater on Cornelia Street in the village in New York. And I got there in about 1961 and Lanford got there a couple of years later in 63, I think it was. And um, I went to see, he had several plays that had gone on before, uh, before I had actually met him. And I had already established myself as a Chino and I came back one night to see, um, I, I guess it was his fourth production. I'd seen three, three new plays and then they decided to revive the fourth one, which was a play called Home Free. And it's a, if you don't know, it's a wonderful one-act play, a really, really extraordinary uh, classic, I would say, of, of the one-act form. And uh, I had seen the first production of it, and now I saw a new production in which he had changed the play considerably. It's a play that dealt with a, a man and a woman who live in this imaginary kind of world, very creative world. And at the very end of the play, we discover that they're brother and sister, and she's pregnant and she's having a, an attack at the end and just at the last moment we were discovered their brother and sister in the audience <gasps> oh my god it was a huge gasp because you didn't realize what, what was going on so uh, I'd been very uh, impressed with the play it was a really wonderful play I had grown up uh, idolizing Tennessee Williams and my directing hero was Elia Kazan and when I saw Lanford's play Home Free I realized that perhaps we had the next great American playwright here. Uh, no one wrote with such eloquence and such beauty of language and so forth since Tennessee. Um, so anyway, I came to see this revival and suddenly in the second line of dialogue, it was, you're my brother and I'm your sister. I mean, right up front. It's, and so I watched the play. It was very good, very nicely acted and so forth. And, they play ended in Joe Chino, who was the wonderful man who had created this nest that off off Broadway began in, came over and said to me, so, uh, Marshall, uh, you know, how'd you like the play? And I said, I, you know, I liked it, but I, I, I liked the earlier production better. And he said, well, have you told Lanford? I said, Joe, I've, I've never met Lanford. He said, you come over here, come follow me. So he dragged me over to the corner of the cafe. It's a small room. Uh, no bigger than our little space that we're in here. I mean, not including the rest of the library, just this little space. <laughs> and so he took me over to the corner, and there in the corner of the table sat this uh, young man with kind of long, straggly hair and these incredible blue eyes, uh, like Paul Newman, you know, those mm -hmm. eyes that stand out about a foot in front of their face, uh, and very startling to look at. And. Uh, and Joe introduced us, and uh, he said, you know, Marshall's a great fan of yours. He's seen all of your productions. Lanford, of course, was very eager to meet anybody who had seen all of his productions already. So he, I sat down, and he said, uh, so you saw the first production of Home Free? And I said, oh, yes. And he said, don't you think I've really improved it a lot? <laughs> and I said, no, I think you've ruined it. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? And I said, well, you know, you've put the incest up front, and it was such a big shock in the audience when we discovered that. He said, yeah, I, I don't like that. It's not, it's not what I was writing about. I wanted to get it over with early because I was writing about how people avoid reality, not about a brother and sister. I mean, that's just, you know, incidental to the story. That's not what I was writing about. I wanted to get it out of the way. Uh, and he later told me, he said, I hated it when the audience gasped. I thought it was so cheap, you know, of me to have written a play that made the audience go, oh. and he said, I talked to him recently about this. And he said, of course, today I'd give anything to, <laughs> to make an audience gasp. Uh, but at the time, we were younger and more idealistic. And uh, so, uh, in short, our very first meeting uh, didn't start off all that well. Uh, but he learned right away that I was going to tell him the truth about what I thought. This podcast has been brought to you by McCarter Theatre in Princeton, New Jersey. For tickets, call 609-258-ARTS or visit www.mccarter.org.